Yo, what's up, guys? It's Carla McCullough here. Wasting no time and digging straight in. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Um, this is the um, iRig Pro Duo that we're opening here. I am a drummer. Um, been playing drums for a while. I'm also a mix engineer. Um, went to Berkeley College of Music, great people. This is what I've been using, the Roll and Go Mixer Pro. Um, I guess I'll talk about this after I unbox it. Let me get to what y'all was here for. Um, and I'll talk about the reason and switching, which is mainly because of a volume issue. All right. Here we have the iRig Pro Duo Suite. iRig microphone, headphones. I probably use this whole setup for like podcasting or something like that on the go. Um, box. Let me show you what's on the, what comes included in the box. This is the back. Just trying to let y'all read this stuff. I don't know if they have all of this information online. Of course, the new Sweetwater mag. Nicely bubble wrap. There's my candy. Shake that left, your taffy. Shake that left, your taffy. <laughs> All right, let's move this out of the way. And we're back. Uh, let's get him open. See what comes included. More seals. I am uh, using this screwdriver because I cannot find one of my mini uh, one of my mini box cutters in this home because I'm very bad at putting stuff up after I use it, man. I'm terrible at it. Um, might want to fast forward this video because I don't want to tear this box up. So, fast forward a bit. Try to keep my boxes in pristine shape in case I want to sell something again or return it or whatever i've sold a lot of gear on ebay most recently my avalon 737 mic pre which i don't know if some of you guys know what that is but yeah okay almost there Okay. And Lego. Sweet. Probably. I don't know if I'll use these or not. I rig. Gotta see how they sound. My daughter would love to have these. So I use Shores. And in-ear monitors from Alclair. So, come with, uh, that is detachable, which is cool. You never had too many of these, right? Sweet. They feel good, man. They don't feel cheap. They feel like your standard AKGs. Like, I forget what the AKGs were that, um, that everybody, the black and gold ones. Let me see. They feel good on my head. They fit pretty good. They're not wiggly like they're. Let me see. I mean, they fit over my ear. They're not, I mean, it's not like sound isolation, but um, but they, they're a comfortable fit over my ears. They really are. I'm uh, be looking forward to seeing how these sound. 
Uh, all right. That's that side. Anything else in there? Nope. Nothing else right there. Let's jump over here. It's the actual unit itself. What's in here? It's your little manuals. Instruction booklet for the complete for the complete. Here is the unit. It is uh it fits in the palm of my hand. Nice finish to it. What do we get? So these are the MIDI inputs in and out i'm guessing i don't know why i would ever use a midi with this but um i believe this is the charger port like a dc i think it's nine volt um and then this is the cable that goes out into your iphone these are your two quarter inch uh trs inputs look like yep which means you can plug in a fourth inch cable one fourth inch cable or a microphone XLR cable. All right, gains, uh, knobs feel pretty sweet. Yeah, sturdy. They're not gonna turn up by this. So pretty, I hate to get my fingerprints on there already, man. So, um, oh yeah, it's battery operated. So it doesn't come with the charger so it looks like let me sit this down comes with some batteries oh wait is this the charger please be the charger please no bunch of cables i didn't think it came with the charger so Ah, so these are the MIDI cables. I get it. So they give you a MIDI, it's two separate ones. You can use one as an in and one as an out. I've never seen these before. That's crazy. Um, This is the cable for, what's this in? Android. Azure, I don't know what that is. USB-C, USB-B, whatever you call it. I'm not an Android user. I'm an iPhone guy. So we use these lightnings. So that's gonna come out of the back of there. Plug it in there. The lightning and it's gonna go in your phone like that. Boop. And then if it's like the Rolling Gold Mixer Pro, you press record on your um on your phone and your video app iPhone. And it should be recording what you're saying. I mean, what the inputs that you have going in. So, um, yeah, so two MIDI cables, an Android cable, and an iPhone cable. I think that's all that's in here. There's something else down there? Let me see. I don't think it is, but. Headphones. Oh, duh. Freaking microphone. So, more instruction manuals on the microphone. Doesn't have different directions on it, so it's probably cardioid or I wouldn't think it would be an Omni, which is a mic pattern. Mic patterns. Oh, cool. A little tripod here, right? Um, mic plugging. Let's take it out of the bag. Let's take it out of the bag. Oh, I'm at 11 minutes. Jeez. Studio XLR. iRig mic. Pricing on this joint. Um... Sweetwater has this on sale for 169 I believe. 
Um, yeah. Um, I saw it on Amazon as well. So, what else we got here? So this is the cable for the mic. Um, so, of course, one's gonna plug into the bottom of the iRig and the other end is gonna plug into your microphone. Um, it's battery powered. Let's look. There is phantom power on it as well. So these are your outs to go into a mixer or something like that. So your inputs are here coming out of like, um, if you were at church, you're going to come out of, say you were using like Avions or something like that, a mon personal, personal monitoring system. You would come out of the stereo headphone output, whatever you usually plug into. Um, if it's an eighth inch plug, you probably want to put a quarter inch adapter on there or something like that. Um, Hope that makes sense. But coming out of you want to come out of your headphone jack. They sell these Y cables. Um, actually, I have one. Let me get it so you guys can see. All right, we're back. So they sell these Y cables. Mine is a monster. So on one end is a, on one end is a quarter inch, which comes out of your headphone. Um, output of your mixer the other end of this cable looks like this which is two quarter inch inputs so those would go into here boom 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 and then you definitely turn your gain up watch the meters make sure it's not hitting red um, and so they sell this cable is probably like $90 but you can probably get like a cheaper hose one or something like that um, it's like a, I don't know what the official name of it is, but just know that there's two quarter inch, which would be like one slash four. So two of those on one end and then a stereo, make sure it's stereo, which is the two rings there, stereo on one end and the other two sides can be mono. All right. And that's how you go in here out of your headphone jack of your mixer all right and you turn these up um take the other cable out of the back of here plug it into your um your lightning your phone whether you have android or apple and um press record on your phone and that should be how it lights up now this has turned into a tutorial more so than an unboxing and i've made a mess but um what i was using before was this Roland Go Mixer Pro. I think what I'm gonna miss about this, or the, I'll say the reason I'm changing in the first place is because I actually have volume. I wouldn't call it an issue. I just can't get my volume as loud as I would like it to get before my mix starts distorting. So when I'm turning this knob up, like um, if, I listen, if, I put, if I push my input too hard, like when I listen back to whatever I recorded, the mix will be, distorted what i'm expecting with the irig from other mixes that i've heard from friends i can get my volume louder from our videos without distorting right so more like commercial music like quality volume or whatever so that's the main reason i'm switching this is still a great product um uh it's just not as loud as as that one from what i feel um uh, what else do I, do I want to say about this? Um, I think the main thing that I'm going to miss is the um, the bus, it being bus powered uh, because you did not need batteries. I mean, you could put batteries in it, but um, but you did not need them because your phone powered this device. So um, the bus power is probably the main thing I'll miss because now if I'm on the road or playing a gig, I have to find power or either get some, re I can get some rechargeable batteries for this actually. And that's probably what I'll do. Um, and I should solve that issue, but I'll just have to keep recharging the batteries. Um, but as far as the sound, I'll probably make another video. 
I already have videos up actually on my channel with me using this. Anything you see today is uh, what June 10th, I think, or 11th, 10th. I think it's the 10th, uh, June 10th, 2019. So anything you, any videos you see on my page before June 10th, 2019 was used with this. Um, I'm gonna start using this. So if you're tuning into my page after that date, you'll be hearing this instead, all right? Um, and so you should be able to hear the differences. I'll be in the same spaces I usually record at home and at church. So you'll see me recording in my home studio and you'll see me recording at church and you can determine the difference. You probably hear what the difference is and you'll make your own uh, choice about the product. Um, of course, with this Roland mixer, you can, it technically has like 11 inputs. You can plug in keyboards, a guitar, a mic. It has more inputs than this, but I think this is going to be a better product just from the way that I feel. I don't know. I'm going to plug it up and we'll see. And um, yeah, man, uh, I hate when I make videos and I forget to say something. So uh, I may add it in the description or something like that if I forgot anything or actually place my, one of my own comments in the comment section or whatever. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, I'm not going to plug it up. I mean, there's other videos of people who's plugged it up and stuff like that, but I just want to do this unboxing. Video is getting long. We're at 18 minutes, so I meant for it to be 10 in the first place, but, um, volumes. This is the headphone volume, I guess. Let's see, what is this? This. I think I forgot to actually do like, that's like a spin around of it. Look. Direct monitor. So you can directly monitor what's coming in the device. You plug in your headphones there. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. After you plug your cables in there, like like I said, if you're at church, so you've taken your out, you've you you're using your headphones output, right? So it's like, okay, how am I gonna listen? So you plug your headphones into this instead of listening through your Avion or your personal mixer headphone jack, right? And then you can monitor. This is the volume, and you can directly monitor. I believe what's coming into this device by looking at by turning this on you can monitor and listen to see if anything is peaking or whatever <laughs> all right um i think that's it guys this is the output like i said you can take these in the pro tools or something like that and record whatever else you're recording and that's it man so i hope i uh helped you guys out with this man like comment subscribe my name is carlin mccullough and um uh, thanks for watching peace